Hi guys, so Heidi here, and this tutorial is going to show you how to color your artwork with Pantone colors very, very easily. So if you're working in fashion or even print graphics, oftentimes we're working with specific Pantone colors and we want to color our artwork only with those colors. So there's a really quick and easy way to limit your color swatch library to Pantones only. So what I've got here is a pair of leopard print leggings and I want to fill these with the specific Pantone colors that I'm using in my collection. So I'm going to select the pair of leggings and I'm going to come up to edit edit colors, colors recolor, recolor artwork. Now, now you'll notice I have a keyboard, keyboard shortcut set up for that. that. I, I did that specifically in my Illustrator preferences and I added my own keyboard shortcut in there. Um, if, if you don't, don't have that set up, that's fine. You can also come up to your control bar up here with your artwork selected, the recolor artwork icon should show up on the top control bar. So I can click that. That will load my recolor artwork dialog. The, the first thing I want to do is I want to click on this menu icon for color reduction options and what I need to choose here is the limit library option. So I click that down and I want to say limit library to and I've got my Pantone TCX, my cotton codes loaded. You could choose any color book you want. Right here you have some default Pantone books. Um, it does not by default give you, Illustrator does not give you the Pantone TCX or TPX library. And that's something you have to either buy separately or um, use the, the serial number on your Pantone book to get the free download. But if you've got that loaded or whatever Pantone book you want to choose, choose that. That will limit your swatches to that library. So then I choose OK. By default, it will automatically convert whatever color I had filled in my artwork. And this is true whether it's a repeating pattern or a solid block of color within your garment. But it will automatically choose the closest Pantone color available. So that one looks good. Let's look at this camel color one that is changing it to 18, 11, 48, okay? And again, we can look at this one. I don't need to look at each one, but I'm just showing you it automatically has selected. So once I've chosen to limit the library, it automatically will change these to the closest Pantone available, and I just choose okay and now my artwork is recolored. You'll notice over in the swatches panel, what it has done is it has loaded a instance of each of the Pantone swatches. It also created a new leopard repeating pattern for you that is filled with those Pantone colors. So it's a very quick and easy way to say, I need these to all be Pantone, what's the closest value, and it will auto-calculate it for you. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this tutorial, I'd love to have you on my email list. I give away tons of free content, downloads, and videos that you do not see here on YouTube. So check it out, soheidi.com, and sign up. I'd love to have you and get to know you and what you're working on. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so Heidi. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.